I got a Fox 61 exclusive for you now. A rare look inside one of Connecticut's major employers, which builds aircraft for our nation's military. And with a new defense contract, employees at Sikorsky are busy working on the next generation of heavy lift helicopters. Fox 61's Amanda Rouse takes us inside the facility in Stratford to talk with the company's president again in today's exclusive Work in Connecticut story. We walked the manufacturing floor with Sikorsky's president, but in order for us to do that, we had to take a lot of security precautions. And before we even left the building, Sikorsky's security team had to look at our video to make sure that there was nothing shown that could compromise our national security. This is our Stratford facility. We have, as you can see, a very large facility. We have over a million square feet under, uh, under roof here. As Sikorsky President Dan Schultz walks down the manufacturing floor, he takes stock of all the aircraft the company makes, supporting all branches of our military, from the Seahawks and Romeos for the Navy to the Black Hawk helicopters that fly all over the world. We got about 6,500 workers here. Uh, we have the Teamsters 1150 as our, uh, our union that works in the, in the factory here. They're the guys who put together the Black Hawk. And as you can see, the components are very uh, integrated as each station we build a helicopter more and more. Back here in the back, we start with parts. The airplane starts coming together, put the rotor heads on, the rotors, the gearboxes, all of the electronics, and then it goes out the door for testing at the other end. He says watching each of these helicopters be delivered is a testament to the dedication of the employees who design and build these helicopters from the ground up. And I put our engineering department up against anybody in the world. We design the very best and safest and reliable helicopters anywhere. So that's exciting for me to see the engineering and then interface with a workforce that is so dedicated to what they do. We have so many family members that have their father working here, their mother, their son, their daughter. Entire generations have grown up in Sikorsky. Heck, your father works in Sikorsky, right. and I love that. I love the fact that the, it is a community feel. Sikorsky works with suppliers all across the state. So there are small businesses here in Connecticut that are getting business because they're providing parts for the different helicopters. What we do here at Stratford is we make the really hard, hard components, the gearboxes, the rotor blades, the transmissions. But we don't build every single part. We buy many of the parts from locals here that supply it to us. and. We have this policy in Sikorsky, we want to be good neighbors. So we want to reach out to all the other businesses that are around here and be part of that family. You know, one thing that Sikorsky, just like many other companies that deal with defense, are dependent on is the budget. We're always looking at the national defense budget, what's coming in from Washington. You know, some critics would say, why are we giving so much money to defense when we have domestic problems here at home that we need to take care of? You are walking this manufacturing plant you know, if not every day, then very, very often. Why do you think it's important to keep that defense funding going? So I, I was a Marine, uh, am a Marine, and I, uh, so my philosophy in life has always been I want it to be the most unfair fight for our airmen, soldiers, sailors, and Marines that are out there, that uh, I want to be part of something that builds the very best that we have. Our country owes it to our men and women that serve in the military to give them the very best product that we can. And Schultz says he's already seen that work firsthand. We recently had a Navy SEAL, uh, Jason Redman, come back. He'd been shot eight times in the face, and he was laying there on the ground, and he actually uh, came back to the factory to shake hands with the employees, and he said, when I was laying there bleeding out, he said, I, I had kind of lost hope, and he said, when I heard the chop, an unmistakable chop of a Black Hawk rotor blades. I knew that that helicopter, rescue helicopter was there to save me, and I knew that once I was on that, I'd be saved. And he says, I know that those pilots flew the rotors off to get me home, and I'm here alive, I'm living proof of Igor's dream. There's a sign on the back of the wall of that manufacturing floor that reads, we pioneer flight solutions that bring people home everywhere, every time. And Schultz says that every employee at Sikorsky goes to work each day, keeping that in mind. If you have a unique business story you think we should share, email us at workinct at fox61.com and use the hashtag CTConfident to tell us what makes Connecticut great. I'm Amanda Rouse, Fox 61 News.